Hello guys, welcome to the Sound Vector channel. So today I want to talk about what it is like living a non-competitive lifestyle. Well, every day I don't get anything done. I end up uh, pondering a lot on my bed, end up thinking about the world, end up consuming a lot of social media from online. And now again, I'm actually on Invega Sistena, which is a anti-schizophrenic medication even though i had some hallucinations when i was a kid and i saw some weird things and it sort of related to like stress levels and anxiety possibly potentially and a little bit of like um size of creativity I'm, I'm i'm trying to understand what this hypersensitive uh sensation of uh that schizophrenic feeling really is about and sort of like i have it almost in a minor form or maybe a general form i don't hear voices or anything i mostly just um I, like i can just i see something sometimes but it's not like something you see like you know like people see i don't know once a month it's not like that it's like i'll see one thing once a year uh, or once maybe two years but it would be something pretty major be something confusing and usually i would see it when i'm in a gloomy state or stressed and then sometimes i even thought could it be the medication i'm taking because i'm taking in vega sistena and it is a antipsychotic it is a anti schizophrenic medication and it makes you tired and droopy on top of the non-competitive lifestyle i live by which i want to document because i'm interested in other people's experience and how many people are actually living the same lifestyle as i am and on top this medication just gives you restlessness hypertinesia it makes you like want to move on the spot somewhere sort of gives you like that um, adhd feeling as well i just looked up some symptoms today and i'm just curious how many of you people are living completely non-competitively socially so you're not focusing on your future goals you're not focusing on what you want to achieve achieve you have no desire to be better than anybody else you just have this default state of i'm existing in the social coordinate uh, plane wherever i am existing and i'm just existing there to provide service like work service um you know physical labor or mental intensity of some kind of probably problem solving the ability of skills and basically uh, as well my communication would be um always jumping from organized to disorganized speech to freestyle speech to speech that is not even created yet by by the common sense of thought and it is spoken before the common sense of thought now those are some things that um you know typically schizophrenics might experience and um yeah that's that's how it is and i'm thinking just how many people live this lifestyle and like stick to it because they believe that it's intrinsically good and rational and which it is possibly good and rational because you know if everybody is sharing all these resources and typically you know there is not always enough resources for everything so we got things like the bible that tell us that we should be more considerate of uh the resources that go around and to who they go to and then the causation factor causability should be uh distributed properly to those people more in need and the people less in need should receive less resources and less less of a dependence of who they are be, uh, of what what they are because they're not competitive and their life is not in danger in the current moment to the point where they need to be more competitive or where they need to have more resources so i kind of really like the Pro venus project uh uh, i don't know um or like uh thought or idea where th the whole society is living in a non-competitive fashion and everybody is getting a distribution of equal uh chicken fish uh, beef resources all across society 
and everybody is super happy and and enjoys it and loves it so i was thinking maybe that's that's a thing but um this whole non-competitive lifestyle is still i'm trying to create things in a non-competitive way but uh their demand is l beyond low to non-existent like i created this electro dance course and what happens is like it's something that most people won't even need so it never really sells and it's just like it goes on and on and i'm thinking like what's the social factor to this i guess i'm relaxed i'm happy for everything and everyone and i'm happy for how things are with people and i'm enjoying being a consumer of uh, blind media consumption and i'm enjoying of living this life without the consequences of worrying that somebody is like one-upping me in any way so i think those are really interesting things that happen in this non-competitive lifestyle and i'm curious am i the only one who really is this way because it is a different way of living and it is not a way of living that most people live by and there is a, a, a extreme factor of things like stupidity is really high up because you're not functionally connecting information together there's actually like a neurological disconnect between the things that you are connecting in your mind because you're trying to like oversee other solutions that may be non-existent in society so there is those interesting things happening and i'm just curious if uh what other people think about this non-competitive lifestyle and how far has it gotten them and how ex happy and excited they are and what what is what is the purpose of this and how does it work but um i want to say something about uh the way i live every day so I, I i do go to work and um i wake up in the morning i'm on this in vegas sistana it kind of makes me anxious i don't know if i actually slept or was awake the whole night uh and usually that does happen but off uh, medication too because you're just thinking maybe so much about everything else you're kind of going outside your body uh, family is concerned that i'm not caring about myself which is something naturally by personality i don't really care about myself as much as other people care about themselves and i think that a lot of things are should be just like taken with a grain of salt like meant to be casual and not to be thought out into very complex solutions and situations and i think that portion of things is like um very unique to a lot of people but there are people who accept things for how they are not specifically because they're stupid but because their personality is just more easygoing so it doesn't see things analytically to a very high-end degree like others are so it's like a choice of like what are you going to do with your personality because your personality builds the way that you think and how you function and that is my personality and it sort of builds in a very um very simple way sort of and that could be called stupidity but to me it's just like a matter of fact like this is a matter of fact that we are holding a rock say we're holding a rock in our hand this is a matter of fact we're holding a rock in our hand there doesn't need to be a geological explanation of how the rock got in my hand as some people would care about that for me it's just there's a rock in my hand i'm holding it i i understand that i'm making that physical connection with that rock and that rock is giving me its energy maybe i'm transferring its energy it has a different sort of a um <clears throat> electrical mass to itself atomic mass and it's an element and i'm holding it and you know it, it's that's that's the interaction and then it cuts off there and doesn't get more complex than that so um typically throughout the day i would uh yeah wake up kind of not really want to do much of anything or sleep as much as i can because i'm on these medications 
and I would sleep for as much as I can till the point where I got to go to work. I go to work. I um, sort of question my life, like, why am I doing this? And sort of like finding reasons to push through every day to complete the work, which I do complete it. Um, sort of relaxed in a way sometimes and sometimes like really stressed. It all depends. Then I get home later in the evening. I go on YouTube. Um, I spend some time with my family, with my sister, playing with my sister, talking to my parents. And then I go uh, like a normal child would and a normal teen or a normal man would. And then I go and I spend some time on YouTube, just watch a bunch of things. But now again, that non-competitive lifestyle, it's like you observe, you sort of like have a, this mush in your brain of different informations that you just recently watched. And this mush in your brain sort of forms in a non-concrete way. So I watch a bunch of things and I get these little things in my mind because my mind is not really trying. It's not physically active and it's sort of um sat satient no where was it what was it um uh, sanitary no wait no it's when you're on the spot all the time sanitary sanitary lifestyle and it's uh, very sanitary and sort of the information i get in my mind it sort of fades away from me as if it was like a form of dementia but I do get some minor amounts of information that I do remember, which is like 5-15%. And then the rest is just a blur of a fogging, fogginess that I cannot understand or, or comprehend. And uh, that could be due to the medication of the Invega Sustena for schizophrenia, possibly. And I was just wondering if that is also a portion of why things are this way. Actually, energy levels are really low um, throughout the day, most of the time. And um, yeah, I feel like it's either that medication or the idea of that non-competitive lifestyle, not being able to gather any information to express to society. So um, even though you are a social societal figure that moves communication and sort of creates things for society in a multitude of ways you aren't exactly dominating anything so your creation process is really low and random and maybe unwanted but though personalized pretty greatly so yeah and um uh, i've been living this non-competitive lifestyle for around six to eight years already and it's just a different outlook on things and you sort of find different logics to everything that you come across and it's not something like you ever really wanted to fully do like you never really cared to be competitive or compare yourself to anyone instead you sort of wanted to express yourself to uh, people but when i have done that on my other channel on my urethral vector channel i um didn't get that satisfaction that i was looking for in that competitive environment so i went non-competitively about society and about everything everything i do the amounts i earn i i work a very low wage job like like the lowest possible wage that you can get i, I work on that and um I'm sort of like n became non-communicative at all. I don't know if it's because of the medication or it's because of the lifestyle choice, but I stopped communicating with people and I just started wanting to consume information like media and observe society, just observe what people want, what people are doing and sort of... Um, it makes me a pushover, being a pushover, basically. And I am just really wondering because this lifestyle, it's not, it doesn't seem wrong. Like, it doesn't seem like there is any immediate threat or danger in this lifestyle. So I was like, kind of like, you know, the society structured well and around in a sense that we could live on a minimal point of existence, even with minimal efforts and minimal um desires as human beings and we don't need to always expand our desires to go past whatever we were first believing in but you know it it, it gets a little bit more 
um, complicated because, yeah, people have a bunch of desires and have a bunch of things that they're entitled to or want, like expensive cars or something associated to those things. But while this lifestyle makes you more fat, makes you more relaxed, makes you sort of the consumer of life and sort of consuming while also replenishing more in resourcefulness to all the people around. So technically... Uh, the expenditure of your ecological footprint is much higher than other people's, but you also um, do consume something. So you do you do exist in this sense of self, but you're not really understanding how you're making contributions. You're simply a tool for people to get from point A to point B. So it's kind of a lifestyle like that. Um, a lot of the times, like, sir, sure, some days I would like to make a video on things and sort of explain my feelings, my thoughts, my way of uh, reasoning. And at other times in the day, I would just rather think about it in my bed and not say anything or not say much to other people in general. And that would be just like either not enough energy not enough desire to express yourself and just sort of let it pass through the day day in and day out and sort of deal with it like that but um yeah and sometimes there's just no thoughts present in what everything is being said or told so yeah that's that's one of those things and then um yeah lethargic very very soft-spoken very simply um dealing with simple things um uh, mental capacity to think is uh very well much diminished to a uh, non-existent level because there is no comparisons besides the comparisons society needs to make to become a better place and um that's like the first part of it and lifestyle so i come back from work i play with my sister i help my family i uh, go and whatever time is left i spend on the internet sort of researching things uh researching for stimulation purposes of the information not because the information is useful in any way but because it's stimulating and the stimulating sense of information gets you this gratifying sense of uh visual acuity and then perpetuity in your mind and you sort of can like deconstruct the the construction of the little um like little little parts of it and sort of it becomes a synthesis oriented process instead of an analytical process because your mind is sort of finding ideas instead of judging those ideas that are in your head so yeah that's that's another part of it and just in general um it's like really droopy like i don't know if it's the medication or the lifestyle um technically i have nothing going for myself in 27 years um just because this uh lifestyle is just too slow and needs a lot of support to relish and be be effective socially in society and sort of uh, get somewhere because there is a, a, a vast amount of people in the world and uh, everybody is technically providing an input for one resource and if your input isn't strong enough then you're simply going to be in the input of the crowd that is not seen so the society that is taken away what is called ghostwriter society sort of you could say and those people that are not seen and those businesses that are not seen and those resources that are not seen are just discarded and replaced with systems that better humanity in a way that is productive and effective for society to function and work at a higher pace so um, these type of things I end up thinking and trying to understand uh, while also trying to, you know, for six, eight years, come up with a way that would benefit people to be living in a very 
docile manner but of course not everybody is the same and everybody is different so everybody got a different output on that and I, that some people might even say it's kind of crazy and i do understand there is a lot of people and a lot of variety and variations of people who think differently and that is just one of those ways and i would say it's just the critical aspect of going from say more very competitive lifestyle to a highly non-competitive lifestyle and it doesn't really achieve much like i uh, waste all my savings i don't have the ability to save things up and this is all related to personality but when you notice it and you understand it you you also understand that there are people like that that are non-competitive in society and that is just one of those ways that they deal with is they have an inability or an in desire to really come off as anything useful or come off as useful but they don't try to be anything so yeah there's those two things that are really important and just in general um you forget things uh there is no structure everything is brainstorming uh your neurons are firing off at different rates because you can't organize yourself into any form um yeah not having a driver's license or really being well off in life not really having your own house not having your own apartment not having a good job simply uh wasting all your um income on uh impulsive things that are not related to like life savings is uh, is a big symptom of this non-competitive lifestyle and i was just wondering if more people have this way of thinking or am I just the only one based on personality that just never thought it was that interesting to compare things or, you know, weigh things against another and sort of accept everything that is? And, um, yeah, uh, I was just wondering how many people think this way and if this is something that already is already mainstream and that a lot of people are thinking about and how their experiences turn out and day-to-day -day life um, events go on i guess you're uh, also not as aggressive you're friendly there there are positives to it you're you're oblivious i guess in a way maybe maybe that's one thing that happens i'm i'm not fully sure but it could be the medication like it's it's really hard to tell so i'm trying to understand that myself and yeah that's how it is um and i don't know maybe other people are like that but um also you're like really caring about society you're really caring about people really caring about reason and i just had this in my personality so um i find this normal and i know a lot of people don't find it normal and when it comes to expressing this a lot of people just don't understand i guess they don't understand the reasons for it the reasons for it is comfort is is, is genuineness is love and caring compassion friendship um integrity there is a lot of like beneficial things that come from this but other than that i'm not really sure what uh, people would think of this way of living and if it's effective to their means or not is also very interesting to know because i feel like people i don't know if they're doing this or not maybe they're doing this involuntarily but somebody is for sure doing something like this and i'm curious what your experiences are i guess it's in a way being very uh woke but like woke not in the liberal way in the cringy way but in a like serious way where you kind of care for everything and i've been doing it for several years so i find it normal i find i have very little desire to do anything i find myself very complacent to everything so except um being taken advantage of mostly like things kind of equal and that's it that's uh, my thoughts on that 
and i was wondering what you guys think hope you guys have a wonderful day and hope you can give me some insight on your ways of living and if you find this comfortable and comforting and if you got motivation from bye bye